we're looking at some gates again today. This is the AND gate. When this lever and this lever are on, the output will be on. These two levers are our input, and they each turn off a torch that are holding on this piece of dust. When either of the torches is on, this dust is on, which is keeping a torch in the back off. So only when the two inputs are on, the output becomes on. Some people have said that this is actually a NAND gate because of the torch on the back, but actually to make a NAND gate, we can remove the torch. Then it's only on if this lever and this lever are off. Only when this lever and this lever are not on will the output be on. So we can even just turn off one of them and the output will turn back on because the torch is just sending a line right in. To make an OR gate, it's even simpler. You can just add some levers to whatever sort of power you want. If this lever, or this lever, or this lever are on, it'll be powered. You can have two inputs, three inputs, five inputs, whatever you want. As long as they're all attached to the same line of redstone and the same input, it's an OR gate. You can also add more inputs for an AND gate with something similar. As we saw, they're each hooked up to a torch, so if we just have more torches, all powering the same group of dust, and all of that's turning off this one torch, we need this lever, and this lever, and this lever, to turn off their torches, to turn off this dust, so the output can turn on. Be sure to subscribe and leave your redstone questions in the comments, and check out my other videos on logic gates too.